Hey everyone, it's Mike. Uh, stuck in Reno this weekend. Uh, I was hoping to go home, but unfortunately, uh, I get to be stuck here for another week uh, for work. So <clears throat> I haven't gotten a chance to shoot at all just to, due to late hours and stuff, but hopefully tomorrow I'll get to go up to Lake Tahoe uh, with a couple of co-workers and, and get to do some shooting. But until then, <laughs> Uh, I requested some of you guys send me some images for me to play around with, uh, basically just to get my mind off of work. So, uh, Christina, one of my bestie friends in the group, uh, submitted me a picture of Olivia holding their gigantic cat standing next to a ginormous pumpkin. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys how I would edit, edit it. And, I mean, she shoots great composition as it is, so uh, probably won't be a whole lot there. So, with, without further ado, here we go. I'm going to start. Uh, so, just just so everybody's tracking, uh, and I'm not going to give away too much from from Karen's uh, ebook, but uh, a couple of things that I, that I liked about her ebook was... The, her use of the aspect ratios and stuff like that. She does most of her stuff, well, at least from what I've noticed, uh, she does a lot of her stuff in Photoshop, but Lightroom does essentially all the, I mean, basically the same thing. So uh, I'm going to change the aspect ratio to a 5 by 7 And I like that it's like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level this out just a little bit. Um, let's see, something like that. And I'm really looking at, I'm not so much looking here, but I'm looking at the vertical lines here. And I like how that is. I wish there was a little bit more room right there. But beggars can't be choosers. I'm happy just to edit this photo and just have fun for, for the evening. So uh, I'm going to leave that there. And everybody knows that I've been on a spin preset kick as of late. Uh, and... You probably know that I, I kind of edit a little bit darker and warmer than most other people. Uh, definitely darker and warmer than Christina does. So I would love to see. I don't know if I've seen her edit this this photo yet or not, but um, it, I'm sure it'll be a completely different take than what I what I take on it. So uh, let's kind of we're just gonna kind of blaze through some of these and see which one we think fits before we start modifying. There's that one, that one, and I think, I think I like this one the most. So I'm going to crank it up just a little bit. And I think, I, she must have shot this with it, but I mean, it's probably pretty, pretty gray out in New York at this, at this time of year, so. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave the grain, or, uh, grain yet or not, but I kind of like the grain as it sits right now. Um, so we're gonna see here. I like that. Let's see what ha happens if I crank up the shadows just a little bit. Um, okay. Let's see what the. See what the tones look like down here. I'm gonna crank those up and just see what see what I like. So I'm gonna leave that there, I think. <clears throat> and I might I might tone some of this down here uh, on her leg. She's getting a lot of the orange from the pumpkin on her leg. Let's see what happens if I mess with the shadows a little bit. See, sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes it's nice to add a little bit of blues into the shadows. That's more hurt. That's more Christina's thing though than mine. Crank down the saturation a little bit. And let's see. Let's add a little bit of blue. Let's take the saturation up a little bit. Maybe something like that in the highlights. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. All right. 
I'm kind of happy with that. Let's look what we get with this. She's almost here. I'm going to slide it over just a little bit. Put it right about there. All right. Let's take and zoom in a little bit so we can actually see. Sorry if my laptop's running a little bit slow. I'm going to, I'm going to take the grain off for now, and then I'll, when I take it into Photoshop, I might actually add the grain back. All right. I don't know why it's doing that weird, not zooming, zooming ridiculously in or ridiculously out. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm happy there. I'm going to take it into Photoshop. Oh, I just did Kate's, <laughs> Kate Lu uh, Luber's. Uh, daughter in her Snow White costume. I'm all, I'm always super jealous of of you guys that actually have girls. Um, hopefully, hopefully my my daughter will be a a blondie as well like my boys. So, oh. <clears throat> all right. So let's see what we're gonna do here. Um, 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 um I think I might take. This, take the sponge tool, raise this up a little bit, and desaturate just a little bit on the legs. Just to remove a little bit of that color cast, that might actually be too much. Just to remove just a little bit of the color cast off of her off of her leg. I like the pretty the pretty red flowers. Drop that up just a little bit there. And I'm gonna adjust the flow a little bit. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit. Off of her face. Something like that. I'm gonna take a little dodge. A little bit there. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys noticed that on the metadata when I imported it in Lightroom, it said that she shot this with the 85 millimeter 1.2. <clears throat> that I think is going to be the next lens that I've that I buy. Every time I talk to Christina, she's she raves about that that particular lens. Um, so. I don't know. I think I'm pretty happy with what I'll what I'll I have now, but I think that might be the last one that I buy for a while. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a little bit of Olivia's eyes in there without making it look weird. Just to brighten them up just a little bit. We'll see. Let's see if that works. I think it works. What about this cat? Let's see if we can brighten his face up just a little bit too. I don't know if it's a he or she. Just assume it's a he. All right. I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, one thing that's kind of bothered me a little bit is this poles leaning. I can't make any promises because I'm not a liquify uh, pro here. But we are going to give it a try at least. Let's do that. It's really hard with a trackpad. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it might be a little bit. Let me go a little bigger. Because now I'm screwing up the door door jams over here. Let's cancel out and try again to get back in. <coughs> go a little bigger. A little bigger. Bigger. Let's see what 
that looks like. Might have helped just a little bit. I'm just I'm trying to just subtly do it. I don't think that's very noticeable. And I think it kind of straightened it up a little bit nicer. I don't know. It might be negligible. But I don't know. Maybe it'll work. All right. Let's see what else we can do. I think I'm going to add gonna dodge a little bit more in the shadows. Sometimes my laptop acts a little crazy. Bring this up a little bit. That's too much. I think right about there. And let's see. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of happy with how that turned out. Uh, oh. I was gonna take a look and see if I if I like any grain on here. Let's see if we like it. <clears throat> Let's look at some of these tones too. Cinematic. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. I kind of like that. I might drop the yellows just a little bit. Maybe the oranges just a little bit. I kind of like that. Let's see how that looks, and then I'm going to add a little bit of grain. Let's see. Ooh, grain, 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 grain. Ah. Let's see. Let's see how I like that there. And drop the oranges just a little bit. A whole lot. All right, a little bit of green, oranges. Let's see. Let's bounce between. So that was before. After. Well, I think that's about it. I think I'm happy with it. Well, maybe uh, maybe Christina will comment on it after I post it up and post up the the video as well. So uh, she might. Just tell me that my editing sucks and not allow me to edit any more of her photos. So y'all have a good night. Maybe I'll make some more videos tonight. Like I said, I'm, I'm really bored sitting in the hotel room. So thank you.